Hey there, my name is Aura and I'm a voiceover artist. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Zoom H8 interface to record your voiceovers. So for your XLR microphones to plug into your computer, let me explain what XLR microphones are. First of all, they're microphones that take inputs like these. You see these three pins? Yeah. So this is an example of one of such microphones. This is the Neat King B2 microphone. And in order for me to use this microphone, I need to plug in an XLR cable to the bottom part of the microphone right here. And so I plug this in and plug this in here. However, you then have the problem that this microphone can't be plugged into your computer. You can't, there are no XLR ports in your computer. So what do you do? And also to mention is that XLR microphones tend to be better performing and sound better than the USB microphones. And that's why we use them, but we need an interface in order to be able to convert the signal from this device and this analog signal into the computer. And that's where the Zoom H8 interface comes in. Now, this is not the only interface you could use. There are many other interfaces that work, but this is the one I have. And it's the one I use because it's quite versatile and you could have up to about eight inputs. If you count the two microphones at the top over there and yeah, you can get many inputs into here, but generally for voiceover, you're probably only going to need one anyway. I don't tend to use the top microphones to record just because it's harder to guard for plosives. So those harsh sounds that come into the microphone when you say sounds like P's or B's. So in order to mitigate for that, I use external microphones like this one. Now in order for me to plug this into this, I've got to take the other end of the XLR cable and plug that in and then plug it in like so in there. Now this is a very short cable, so I'm not extending it for too long, but this is sort of what it looks like, as you can see. So that's plugged in into input one, which is over here. And now the next step would be to use this as an interface. So in order to connect this interface to the computer, what I have to do is plug in this USB over here. You can see the USB connection there. This one uses a micro USB, but other interfaces may use USB-C. The cables usually come with it to so just check with that. So you have that cable there and then you plug that into your computer. Next up, I'm going to show you how to use the interface function to connect this to your computer. Bear in mind, there are many other functionalities that this particular interface has, but today we're going to be focusing on using the audio interface. All right, let's get into that. So the first thing you need to do is switch it on. You do that by pushing this lever over here until it comes on. When you see that zoom logo, it's come on. The next thing you want to do is select the audio interface option over there. Then you also want to select stereo mix PC slash Mac. So if you connect on the stereo mix iPad, it'll draw power straight from the battery in this. And so if there's no battery in there or the battery is low, you risk it going off. Whereas this, if it's plugged straight to the computer, you can then power the interface using the computer. So let's tap on that. Okay. And now you've got your interface working. As you can see, there are no microphones, external microphones plugged in here, but there is this microphone that did come with the zoom H8 interface, which we can plug in, which we can select. So I'm going to unselect these because nothing's connected. And then instead I'm going to select this. And now you should see movement because it's picking up the volume from this microphone over here. I hope that helps and shows you how you can use the Zoom H8 as an audio interface. If you plug in other microphones, you literally just plug them in and then put it on. If you press this one, for example, and you plug a microphone into here, it would come on and then you'd hear it work. But the one we can test it with, like I said, is this microphone up at the top here. So just press that. And now if I do anything, it can do that. And this USB wire is what gets connected to the computer. Next, I'll show you what it looks like on my computer as an interface device that you can select as your audio input. This video sponsor is the Audition Ready VoiceOver program by Voices Delight. If you're looking to see how you can use your voice to mesmerize audiences and really engage with them, earn an additional stream of income, let's say an extra thousand, two thousand dollars that can help with maybe car payments or a holiday or some new clothes or something else. Maybe check out this program. It might be the thing for you. 
the Audition Ready VoiceOver program will help you go from beginner to audition ready in the field of voiceovers. That way you can use your voice to really engage with audiences from e-learning to audiobooks to adverts. The possibilities are limitless. So if this sounds interesting to you and you'd like to learn about becoming a voiceover artist or just learn more about the opportunity, book a discovery call using the link in the description or the pinned comment and find out if this side income opportunity is the one for you. All right, back to a regular program. As well as audio output. So you can listen to the sound from your computer and from the interface by plugging in headphones. You would plug your headphones in this connection over here on the side. Let me show you. See that green hole? That's where you would plug in your headphones. If you want to adjust the levels, you can then turn the dials up here. I'm hoping you can see that clearly. So there's a dial up here that will affect the levels that you're getting. So if I move this all the way to the maximum, you can see that, oops, okay. I moved it all the way to the maximum and now you can see that it's quite loud, but that might make the audio clip. So I usually put it at about seven or six or 6.5, something like that over here at that level, even for the other ones. And then that's generally a decent enough level for me to record with. Now here's how you select the interface on your computer. Let me show you. So we're in the computer now and we've got to select the audio interface. So the first thing we want to do is click on this volume icon over here and then click on sound settings. These are just the output. So even though this appears here, it's not what you want to use. Click on sound settings. Once you open up sound settings, the next thing you want to do is scroll down and click on the input function. Then click on the Zoom H8 driver right there. Now with that, what you'll be able to do is use this as your recording device. So let's say you opened up the voices, the voice memo app, you could use that to record. And that's how you select the microphone. But let's say you were recording on Audacity, for example, it's a free audio recording software. Let me show you how you'd use that microphone. So let's open up Audacity and we'll open up a new project. Now over in Audacity, you do have to do a few things in order to make sure that your audio device is selected properly. The first thing you want to do is go to transport, then click on rescan audio devices because sometimes it, if it just has been plugged in and Audacity was already on, the microphone may not show as a device. So when you click on that, then go to audio setup, click on recording device, and then click on the Zoom H8 audio driver, which is what you want to record with. And now once you press record, it should record with the Zoom H8. Let's test it out, shall we? Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I'm recording with the Zoom H8 microphone. I'm currently using the top microphone on it. And when it receives gusts of air, it can be quite loud. So I need to avoid that and watch out for that. All right, that's what it looks like. Now let's play that back. Testing one, two, three, testing one, two, three. I'm recording with the Zoom H8 microphone. I'm currently using the top microphone on it and when it receives gusts of air, it can be quite loud. So I need to avoid that and watch out for that. All right, thanks for watching the video. I hope it provided value to you. If it did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and share this video with somebody who it could be helpful to. Also tell me what are the reasons you might need this sort of setup, let me know. I'm a voiceover artist and that's what I use it for. I know there are singers. If you're a singer, let me know in the comments. Um, and you might use that for your singing setup as well, but there might be other reasons. For example, if you want to use it for a podcast setup where you have multiple speakers on your podcast. So there are many ways you can use it. Let me know in the comments how you might use this setup. If there are any other questions that I haven't answered in this video to do with this interface or to do with microphones or audio interfaces in general that you need help with, don't be shy, send me a message in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as best as I can. And if you need, I might be able to create a video for it. But yeah, let me know, I'd love to hear from you. I hope it provided you value. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you in the next video. Take care. Check out the other videos that appear on your screen. I think they could be useful. They'll probably appear somewhere here or somewhere in this place. And don't forget to subscribe. All right, catch you soon.